Today is the day I will come. Come in. Alright. So, I have decided to become an acting comedian. This is my first time ever vlogging or doing anything of the sort. I see that I need shade. I'm gonna be on him. But, um, so yeah, I want to be a comedian actor, so I think the first step of that is becoming a comedian. So I have signed up for an open mic tomorrow, you know, so I will be doing my first <sighs> open mic tomorrow with probably one joke written. So I don't know, never been on stage before a day in my life. We're about to see how it feels. So it's gonna be eye opening, for sure. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this so far. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to talk about. I forgot. I should have brought my book up here, but I just said, all right, I'm gonna freestyle it this time. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I get lucky and catch something random. <laughs> <laughs> talk about how I was adopted by a Hispanic family and how my mama was white. So that kind of threw me out. Yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, I heard of what? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? They took me in and it's like, you know how you can rescue a dog from a dog pound, right? You know what I'm saying? You, you find a Rottweiler. You know what I'm saying? Next door was a Chihuahua, but not a Rottweiler got blood on his mouth. But they choose that, ch that Rottweiler because you know what I'm saying? You look cool. You look funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I was locked up. They came and bonded me out. They said, "No, my dude say, hey, you can't go back to the hood, little black boy.' That was her nickname for me for the rest of the time. <laughs> I was like, I love it. All right, white mama, let's go. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> let's do it. This is the first time I had a hug in about three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I right, yeah. That's a little sad, but hey, <laughs> I had fun. They ain't never smell weed in that house until I got them. <laughs> they ain't never fought until I got them. I brought my own gloves and mitts and everything. I trained them folks out of the box. I fucked up them. What the baby sister, Lily, she went to school the very next day and whooped the boy. <laughs> We went to pick her up. I had to leave school to go pick her up in one truck. So shit, I'm like, damn, what the hell you do? Got me fucked up, I am. I'm getting high in class from her. You trying to get me pulled out. <laughs> so she put the hair right in my face while I'm driving. I said, what the fuck is that? What you got in your hand? She said, I got it, dread. I got it, dread. I said, girl, if you don't sit your way to that bank, you got to play with these folks. He gonna, he gonna go get his sister and she gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> but hey, man, I taught her well now. You know what I'm saying? She grown now. Yeah, she whooping grown folks ass now. <laughs> I seen it. I'm scared of her. I, I got out of prison not too long ago. 
I went to visit her. I was like, hey, y'all going over there? I'm loving hugs and everything like that. The first thing I hear, I hope my, hey, you want to fight? <laughs> Girl, I've been shanking motherfuckers and fighting for my life for the past three years. You damn right I want to fight. <laughs> Stop, bitch. <laughs> But I, let me tell you something, boy. Hey, she put them goddamn thumpers on me now. I ain't gonna cut. I was on my damn back before three minutes was up. I'm like, hold on, get up on me. She got a foot on my chest. So I said, yeah, get your black ass up. Get your black ass up. Give me 30 seconds. Mama! 